Hi guys, I'm doing another video on this. A little bit late, but later than never. Um, this is the Magic Throwaway Tree Junk Journal, which is a custom made order for somebody. I spent um, quite a long time designing the cover and the back. In, obviously on camera it never gives the um, the full beauty of the colours all the different colours it's supposed to look like back um, a tree same again on the front the videos never really do it justice the video quality is really poor so I tried to make it look like a, a tree for the magic far away tree and then on the um, on the chair the dangle chair I've added some little leaves there's a couple of them and then we've got a little bell and then throughout the journal I've added these on which is each um, chapter in the Fairway Tree book. So it's like a different, a different land where they go to. So I've added a couple of them on there. And then on here, um, there's some dangling, if you can see them. There's some dangling inside the book. The land of dreams and then I've added a few charms there's a mushroom charm because it's kind of like a woodlandy theme magical woodlandy type of theme going on I've added more charms than that let me find them I've added a little uh, furry you can see that and then there's the tree to represent the far, far away tree so I'll get straight in <coughs> open it up we've got this cute um, paper on the side here and then this is the far away tree image and then I added the title which was from out of the book itself and we've got a little tiny robin tucked into the pocket there and then a journaling card what I made with furries and butterflies and then we do have a journaling card which has been stitched on on to tea dye paper I do um, apologise for my dog barking. And then these little tiny flip outs here. These are perfect to stick um, like pictures on the inside and they just fold neatly inside. And then on a few of the tea dyed paper, I've done a, a, like a bit of stenciling um, leaves. If you can see, you can't really tell because of the shadows. Um, I haven't got good lighting where my desk is at the moment. And then on this bit of um, fabric, I've got the Land of Dreams and the charm, the Fairway Tree charm. And then just some stamping on the tree again. And then you are magical. It might be backwards if you're watching it from your end. And we've got these, these gorgeous um, printables that I got off Etsy. And I did save the lady's name who I've been using so I could um, compliment the woman. Um, but I forgot her name so I'm really sorry. Oh, this is all crunched up. Little doily 
and then this is an actual paper clip what I made and there's one on the other side so if I take it off um, so it is a paper clip and it's got a mushroom on it and then there's a couple of these little tiny cards what I've added in apparently um, years ago they, they made um, like game cards for the Furway Tree by Enid Blyton so I've managed to um, print them off well downsize them and print them off and use them in the book and then I made this um, card it's got a vintage stamp at the top there and it's a letter to Joe, Bessie and Fanny and Dick um, I know now that they've changed the name um, in the books but I've kept it original so I hope that's okay um, it's just a letter of, from Silky Saucepan and Moonface telling them that there's different um, lands coming up in the tree and inviting them to come so I've added a couple of them little letters in there And then we've got um, this paper which is like got little tree leaves on it. I've added quite um, a few of them in and it's lined so easy to journal on. I've got a tiny little pocket here and then these are the little um, card cards what I was telling you about what used to be a game. And just a tiny tea dyed um, little tag. And then I've made a couple of Franklin paper and for anyone who's watching and doesn't know what Franklin paper is, it's basically getting all your scraps of paper, what you have lying around, I have a massive tin of it and you just, um, you size it to the size what you want it at and you stick them all together, let it dry and then you just go around um, to make it a bit more secure and hard. And then I've studied a few bits of fabric on what's leftover scraps and I've done some stamping. So they call it Franklin paper because it's like going off Frankenstein because obviously they use different body parts but that's a different story altogether. So that's for anyone who wants to know what Franklin paper is. And then we have an old image from the story. And there's quite a lot of pockets what I've made and there's some tiny little envelopes if you can see journaling cards with furries on and tea dyed and then we've got journaling cards get that back in there And then another little German card. So that's all on one. And then this side, this is another. I tried to make it like a postcard, you know, the old vintage postcards, what they used to have. So I've used like um, this is the magic fairy tree. So I've tried to make it look like this is a postcard of that. And then we've got a stamp. Uh, British two-piece stamp which is a little bit vintage and then it's another letter from um, Silky Moonface to to let them know that there's another um, do as you please land coming along and um, to let them know about it and to come and visit them and then this is out of one of my furry books that I have and I had some um, paper what I use when I'm painting journals, painting pages and I use normal paper and then sometimes I just use them and it looks quite cool even though it wasn't meant to be like that but I just, it's just all scraps what look really nice and then I've taken a couple of um, old vintage book pages out of Enid Blyton's books because I have tons of Enid Blyton's um, stories so I've added a couple um, of stories in 
apparently the, the girl who this journey was going to loves Enid Blyton so I just bought her a couple of um, bits in for her and then if you take this off um, it's got a little another um, land on it the land of spells it's like a dangler and then I've got this envelope I'll have to excuse the noise my children um, are in the front and I cannot um, make it any quieter um, and then this is another little charm but this wasn't out of the book I found it with this printable um, and I thought it was quite um, irrelevant to the story they ran deeper into the enchanted woods so I thought that was perfect and it's just like a large um, envelope so you can add secret little messages in there and little goodies so that goes on there and then throughout the book I've added um, some of these little silly quotes in from um, Panhead he's always coming up with all these little um, crazy rhymes so on this page and at the bottom of this page I've added some in and then there's a couple throughout to carry on with the theme and then this is just um, an envelope what can be undone and you can either journal inside of it or you can put it together with washi tape or glue and tuck things in like a secret little envelope whatever you want to do with it and then we have another dangle, the land of toys. And again, um, another story from the Enid Blyton vintage books that I have. Some more Franklin um, paper, what I've used. My scraps of vintage paper and rip, out, rip offs. And then there's another little um, saying there and then this undoes and then there's um, another silly little quote from Panhead, Tinhead and then it closes and then I've got journaling card another envelope that just unfolds all tucks neatly into a little side pocket with mushrooms and acorns <coughs> another doily and then I managed to find an image off Pinterest and I'm not so sure who this guy is supposed to be but that is I don't know if his name is Pinhead um, Tinhead or Panhead I forgot I'm sure it's Panhead Turn the page, we've got a little um, miniature little junk journal that I've used, and then this just slides on a brad, and then inside I've just put lots of um, different pieces of paper, um, just lots of spurs, what I have, off cuts from other bits and pieces that I have. I've got tons of the stuff so I'm forever trying to make my stash a bit smaller. Again this just folds and then this is the second sec blah, 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 second signature and it's a little secret. And then I've put um, a little Tim Holtz little girl there, which I thought was um, really cute. And then I've got another um, miniature journal, and I've just added different types of lined paper in that. And then that's like a secret hideaway. <clears throat> and 
and then we have another um, Rimmy Rimmy Ronnie Reet Stand on your own two feet Rimmy Rimmy Rummy Roll The right way up you must go That's another saying from the tin head And then we still have some old vintage Amy Blyton images Another journaling card And then again another um, furry image what I had and I've just used some scrap paper that I have like painted on the back of stick it back in and then we have a little charm dangle of a furry the land of do as you please Way of the shadow in my head, vintage ledger paper, and then just a little furry with some roses. Lots of journaling space, and again, this is um, some paper with trees and it's lined. And then I did some inking with leaves. I love this paper, it's amazing. This is from the Graphics Fairy. I do use this quite a lot, I do love it. And then we've got a tiny little pocket here, and we've just got a little tiny acorn image, and it's just a journal on the back of. Another doily. And then a pocket full of goodies. Again, we've got these um, Amy Blyton plain little cards, some miniature acorns, another one, journaling card, another Amy Blyton vintage image, and then some more cards, and then a miniature little mushroom journaling card with. Um, this has got um, Tim Holtz spray that I use. It's like a blue, bluey shimmer on the back of that. And then just another Uni Blyton. But I liked the idea of putting it in there because when you slowly lift it up, they're pulling someone up. So I thought that was quite cool. <coughs> and then again, I love doing the ruffles. Um, I get scraps of paper again and I just make like ruffles and then this isn't um, from the fairway tree it's out of an Enid Blyton story but I just thought with them being in a tree um, I just thought it was pretty cool um, so it just reminded me of the children climbing up the tree even though it's to a different story more trees with lined paper I mean it lined yeah lined paper <laughs> another charm the land of presents and then on this page this is another paper clip what I've made which way does it go sideways slides off and it's just a little flower and then another paper flower with some fabric that I've added and it's a paper clip and then clipped on it is this envelope what I've made it's it was a vintage music sheet paper and then I've decoupaged over the top of it and you can still see the um, the music so that was quite cool. Just make sure I've put it on right. It's not just that way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
and then on the other side I just had it, I added another little furry um, silky to the waffles I think it is and then we've got another furry and then a little swing and then we have another side pocket with leaves and mushrooms and then we've got an image of moon face and um, panhead and a furry I wonder if that furry is supposed to be silky or not, I'm not so sure and then we've got this glittery rose and then just a card with some leaves and mushrooms that can be journaled on and I've got some butterflies and then this just pops out this is a good idea if you want to put envelopes and um, stick the envelope on there and you can undo it and then fold it in and fold it again and close it And then on this we've got um, a little pocket here with some more of that paper I was telling you about on the back what I've sewn on and then at the top we have a little pocket to put little goodies in, little secrets and then it unflips to that and then you can just close it like a secret little journaling spot and then just some more inking with leaves. And then this is my favourite. This is like an envelope that I made. Let's see if I can hold it up so I can show ya. I've got a little flower. And then I've added a leaf on there. And then if we undo it, it's like a, a big envelope that I've made. And inside I've put quite a lot of these in. These are the images from the old vintage fairway tree books. And each one I have stick, um, I have sewn um, tea dyed paper on the back so they can be journaled on. So I've added a few of them in. So they all fit in this little pocket here, another secret pocket. Just all tuck in. They can be taken out and put throughout the journal and the girl um, wants to write and stick things in where she wants. Just trying to close that and write down actually. And then at the side here I've got another little secret pocket and this um, is called a lavender pouch which I downloaded from Porch Prince, I think the name is, um, and it's a secret compartment. And I've just added some that like, oops, some miniature little journaling cards. Or oh, they can be stuck in the actual journal. They don't have to be journaling cards. Make a collage out of them. Again, that's from a magic fair fairway image tree. I'm getting my words back to front. Um, so yeah, and these can just all be taken out and then it just all folds up into a little pouch. I'll tie that later, I'll do it now. So that just neatly tucks in there in the little secret pocket. And then again we have some more furries, we've got some journaling cards. And if... Um, there's quite a lot of um, tuck pockets, um, you can add one there and then one behind it, um, there's quite a lot in this one, it's just hard to show when you're on camera. Lots of different um, cards, I'll not go through them all. Another little um, paper clip what I've made, it's got a little rabbit on it and just some gems. And then again, this is another journaling curl that's been um, sewn onto tea dyed paper. Another vintage Uni Blyton image, and I think this is when they're in the Topsy Turvy Land. I'm not so sure. 
and then another image from an Enid, Enid Blyton storybook, which it's not the Magic Fairway tree, but because there's trees in it and there's furries, I had to add it. And then we've got another little um, saying from Panhead, Tinhead, whatever his name is, to Glassine. And then another playing card and then this is just another envelope i haven't stuck it all together it's up to the um, young girl who wants to do what she wants to do with it and then we've got a little pocket here and then this just flips up and you can journal under here and close it and then we've got another little secret pouch if you want to do it there's just some little cool cards inside nests and eggs different types of eggs different types of mushrooms and then just uh, just some images of leaves so they all neatly tuck in there again they can be taken out and you can make um, a collage in the journal so they need the tuck in there like so and then again we've got some more franklin paper with little tiny cards tucked in neatly and then we've got another charm which is a little mushroom And then we've got another little land, the land of Topsy Turvy. And then this image, this is um, out of a 1930s um, book, what I have. And if you can see, it's got tiny little fairies, and I thought, with it being in the woodlands, a little girl, I've added that. And it says the furry wood, so I thought that was quite nice to add in. Again, this is um, out of the one of the Uni Blighton boots that I have. Really a bit heavy now and then I've used an old vintage um, like a doily and you can flip it up and you can stick a picture under there or just do some journaling and it's a secret it's vintage just like the colours of the oranges and the yellows and then I've done some wax Sealing, wax sealing, sealant, wax stamping, should I say, like the old fashioned way. I started doing that, and this has got little um, leaves on it. So I thought that was quite cute. And then this is just a, um, a card, and it's blank inside, so that can be journaled on there. And another tree. And then another land, the land of goodies. These papers are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to use them again um, on something else. A good purchase. And then that is the end of that. And then there's a bag here, a, bag, a glassine bag. And I've added lots of goodies in what I haven't been able to use in this um, journal. So when the young girl receives it, there's there's lots of goodies that were left over. Um, I'm not doing another one of these books for a long time, I don't think. No one's ordered one, so I just thought um, I'll add them in and she can do what she wants them. So that's just packed with leftover stuff. And then that's the end of that. So that's the... Um, Treat by Enid Blyton.
and um, don't forget i'm having a sale today um on the vintage golden books and um, they're all priced at 22 pound only for today and um, there's only one that isn't in the sale and that's the um we help mummy one because that's got four or five signatures in it and it's got like some goodies in so that's not in the sale but all the others are um so that's it so thank you for watching and goodbye